Made it to Kalispell, Montana. We're parked at the JC Penny parking lot. We're about to go get some coffee and then hit the post office and then go to Whitefish Ski Resort and go park and find our campsite. That's the plan. Fish. I love it. He's got eyes on him. He's never seen turkeys before. His mind is blown right now. Made it to Whitefish Montana Ski Resort. Would you look at that? We're the only people here. Now, when we leave, it's going to be a little bit challenging because I was in a four-wheel drive. Probably have to throw some chains in these back tires. I was slipping and sliding trying to get the trailer in place. It's all like grass and rock right here, but it's covered by a sheet of ice. Not too great, but at least we don't have far to go. We just have to go right here. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Ew, this why I kind of sucks. <laughs> Second chair this morning. <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> it's the first chair of the day. Serving it up, Gary's way. <laughs> So here's my side. Switch it. That was my swirly dearly. And here's Morgan's side. Who's is better? Here's my swirly dearly. Yeah, that was her swirly dearly. <laughs> All right, put it in the comments. Look at this, an actual Domino's delivery driver jacket <laughs> that had a dollar in it. It had tips in it when I got it <laughs> from a thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! The uh, lot, you can't see it? Yeah. Right there, that's, that's the base lodge. Yep. So we're basically parked at a ski and ski out right here. Uh, we just opened up gifts. We had cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Life is good. And we're about to go catch some runs, but we're running pretty late. It's like 11 o'clock at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, it's very cold. <laughs> RV related stuff. Our pipes froze for the past two nights, so we don't have any running water and we're trying to troubleshoot that. So if anybody has any tips and tricks, please let us know. Um, either way, this is Mac on the Road Christmas Special Part 2. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> First couple Christmas runs in, how we feeling? Cloud nine. <laughs> Look at that new board. Wow. Thanks, Santa. Thanks, Santa. And Morgan's parents. This is what she gets for not looking at the signs on the ski run. She has to walk all the way back. We just demolished two bowls of chili. We got some Irish coffee. Not 
nothing slaps better than chili on a cold day. That's a fact. Well, we came back. Well, actually, they were frozen last night, but we came back and... They still didn't unfreeze. Our water lines are still frozen. There's no water. Check this out. Nothing. Bing bong. All right, so we did some investigating, and we found out that the most likely culprit would be the line feeding into the water pump. So we got our trusty buddy heater just pushing air or pushing hot air into this little area where the water pump and the lines are. Quick update for everybody. We finished Christmas dinner. It's a mess. And we got Morgan down here trying to figure out what the problem is. What an eventful 12 hours this has been. Come here, buddy. Can I get in the video? Hey, say what's up. Let's see, so we had a, a pretty nice Christmas dinner last night. Just had steak and mac and cheese. Morgan made homemade mac and cheese, it was really good. Um, but we're continuing to struggle with these, these frozen pipes. We're trying to figure that out, and today is a travel day. We're gonna go try to find somewhere that's like maybe 40 degrees, and we can sit there for a day or so and see if our freshwater tank will, um, see if our freshwater tank will actually thaw. And um, if not, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but uh, yeah, Santa brought cold weather. Hey, what's up? Santa brought cold weather and the Grinch brought frozen pipes. I realized I never got any good footage of the lodge down here, well, the, the base camp for whitefish. So me and buddy boy, we're gonna go walk down there and take a look. Well, I tried to go in there, but there was a sign that said service dogs only, and he's definitely not behaved enough to pass that. Um, and I've definitely seen dogs up there before, but maybe I just went the wrong way. Either way, I turned around and we're gonna walk over here now. There it is. Dang, we need a bath. Wow. Okay, got some travel day shenanigans. Like pouring snow, it hasn't snowed in three days since we got here. I guess it snowed the first day that we got here, but it hasn't since. But anyways, um, so I'm a little bit worried about this hill right here. Um, it was pretty slick, even with my tires, and I don't have snow tires. I know I need to get them, they're just expensive. Um, so I just put a chain on each one of these tires. I'm gonna put it in four wheel drive and then we'll be able to uh, hopefully just pull out of this just fine. And then once we get to this main road here, it's it's been salted and plowed, so it, it should be fine. Um, and there's like a little area right there that I could take the chains off. But um, I'm just gonna keep them on for the time being because I'm just worried about this little area. I mean, even getting in here is pretty slick. So with the snow, I, I don't wanna take any chances. about this lifestyle is that every campsite that you go to is a mystery <laughs> we're um in whitehall montana parked in like a like it's next to a railroad we're kind of in the middle of nowhere um the first place that we tried to park at was totally closed so um we're battening down here for the night it's super cold like 10 degrees outside very cold in here everything's frozen basically um but Morgan's already snuggled up in bed. Goose is being a menace. Lou is being a good kitty cat. That's it for this video. As always, you know, throw us a like and comment if you have any questions. Share the channel with friends and family. Subscribe to it, of course. All right, till next week.